I, I feel I feel almost feel awful asking you about Tom because I realise that this must be such a difficult time. But actually, you seem very happy to talk about Tom. Yeah, I just think you know, especially with the kids and that, we speak about him every day. Like I've got pictures, there's pictures of him everywhere. Even that example that my laptop's not working, it's like he would sort that out. It's I'm reminded of him every day. So why wouldn't I want to talk about him? But I think the kids give me so much strength to get on and get get through it. But it's like you'd be you're doing something random, like making a boiled egg, and I'll, I'll like tear up, and I'll be like, "Why am I tearing?" Oh, because he loved boiled eggs. Like, do you know what I mean? It's just really small things that you don't think you'd get upset about. The, the band getting back together was was massive for him, and it gave like Tom loved work. He loved loved music. I think for him, he needed that band to get back together, and I think he needed the boys to be behind him again. Yeah, to feel that strength from them because obviously. They were his brothers, they were his best friend, they got put into a band together, but they were so lucky that they did genuinely really get on. This is this journey, what, where it's taken me, is the thing you're guaranteed in life is to be born and to die. And both can be magical. So, you know, for Tom, it, it, it sort of, I was so scared of him dying, but yet I just found some sort of peace with myself when he did pass, that it was happy even at the end. 